All right, so joining me now is David Kelly. He is K-Force's Chief Operating Officer down here on the floor. As David, I see out of the corner of my eye, uh, your stock, K-Force's stock, up about half a percent here shortly after the market opens. Why is this transfer that we're celebrating good for business at K-Force? Well, Kristen, first, let me say we're thrilled to be here today. Our team has been energized by the day. It's a really special day for us. So. The New York Stock Exchange is a meaningful step for us, right? We've been publicly traded for almost 30 years now. Uh, as we grow this company, we're looking to expand our reach, uh, access new potential shareholders, right? Global markets. And this is a really important step for us. And the services that the New York Stock Exchange provides to us are exceptional as well. So thrilled for the move. Our people are excited about it. Uh, it's been a meaningful change already for us. We're very happy to have you here. And for our viewers watching at home as the Chief Operating Officer, what operational changes are in store here as we make our way through 2024? So 2024, well, it's, a, it's an interesting market in our business, right? I think it's fair to say that companies are very cautious about what they're doing and how they're spending their resources on technology. We continue to build an integrated solution for our clients. Uh, so clearly we are servicing them in every way that they need to, whether that be managed solutions, managed services, staff augmentation, and we also do some direct hire. In addition, there's a lot of exciting things that we're doing in the company for the long term, right? So we've got some transformational activities that are taking place to improve customer service, improve efficiencies within the firm, because we're looking to the long term, uh, just as the New York Stock Exchange change, uh, change is a long term decision for us. Those investments that we continue to make, we think are going to continue to propel the growth of the company. So an exciting year for us in 2020. Well, we are excited to be along the journey with you here at the Stock Exchange. And one of the biggest storylines certainly emerging this week is about what the Fed will do with interest rates or borrowing costs. Does that impact your business? Yeah, really good question. So technology really is at the heart of what every company is doing. So we've seen over the last couple of years, obviously interest rates have been high, companies have been cautious and as it relates to their spend, but those strategic investments that they've in continued to make are because, and we did, we deal with market leading companies, predominantly Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies. Those market leaders have continued to invest in core technology that is gonna continue to maintain, allow them to maintain market leadership. But as the economy, hopefully the, the rate cut and potential improvement in the economy will also continue to loosen those purse strings. So we've got a good foundational baseline of business, but we're looking for additional opportunity as companies maybe, like I said, loosen their purse strings a little bit. And David, as we're speaking, I see the stock now up about eight tenths of a percent on the session shortly after the market opens. That's the Chief Operating Officer, David Kelly. David, thank you. And viewers, let's take a look down here on the trading floor.